Hey, my name's Tom, aka Elephant. I'm here today at DBS, and we're going to be looking at some of the new features in Ableton Live 12. So we've used some of the new kind of generate tools, transform tools, some of the node chants. Let's make this uh, beat sound a little bit more kind of punchy and aggressive. I'll get rid of the um, MIDI notes there. And we'll go over to audio effects and grab one of the new audio effects in Live 12, which is called Raw. So Raw looks a little bit like this. Raw is a distortion device, but it's a, a pretty advanced distortion device. There's a lot that you can do with it. So at the most basic, you have, this is kind of the heart of the device here. We've got various different distortion modes that you can choose from. I'll just, so I'll just show you what some of those sound like. So like, I'll turn that down a little bit so we're not blowing the speakers. So I've got just like kind of regular soft saturation, digital clipping. So kind of conventional distortion or saturation modes to some more sort of interesting ones like polynomial, fractal, or even like this noise injection. One of my favorites is this one called Shards, which adds these kind of like glitchy noise sounds to it, which is pretty fun. I'm actually gonna go back to this soft sign. But what I wanna do is I don't wanna have the whole drum beat distorted. I just wanna kind of have the kick drum driven in one particular way, and then maybe I'll uh, affect other elements of the beat uh, slightly differently. So what you can also do with RAW is at the moment we're in single mode, where I've just got a single distortion. I can switch it to be in various different modes, including, so I've got like parallel, where I can have multiple distortions, mid-side, or multi-band, where I can affect different bands, uh, different frequency bands independently. So for example, if I just want to distort the kick drum, just get a nice kind of boomy 808 kick drum. And what's also quite cool with RAW is I can click this button to pop up the device and work with it in full screen and see all the parameters of the device, which is particularly cool when you're working in this uh, multi-band mode. You can see all the different frequency bands. So you can hear just the kick is being distorted. I can pull that up a bit. And the highs and mids are completely unaffected. But maybe I'll go over to the hi-hats here. And I'm gonna set it to this shards mode. In fact, I'll it's sort of here, it's kind of glitching a little bit between the left and right speakers, which just kind of adds this interesting effect to it. I can turn that down a bit. So you can do some really interesting things with this. I won't go into kind of all the depths of what you can do, but you would have noticed as well that we've got two LFOs, an envelope follower, this noise oscillator, which you can use to modulate all of these parameters of the distortion as well. So you can get pretty nuts with RAW um, and create some pretty wild sounds. We'll see, maybe we'll use it on, on something else as well. It's got some built-in compression. I just want to compress that beat a little bit. It's even got this uh, built-in feedback where you can feed some of the distortion signal back into it. And you can even tune that. So you could make that kind of your baseline if you want to. You can go pretty wild with it, but we're not gonna go too far down that rabbit hole because we could spend a lot of time just with, uh, with RAW. For now, and what's great about it is it's, it's versatile enough that you can do kind of crazy wild distortions or just use it to add a bit of kind of color and flavor. So there's the beat without it. Just gives it a bit of kind of extra oomph. <laughs> 